What is up guys, my name is Matt, working for Cinematography Database, and today we're going to look at installing CineDesigner R2 on your computer on OS X, though on Windows it's not going to be all that different. Let's hop right into the computer. Right here we are on my desktop. Again, OS X, go to Applications, I'm scrolling down. We're going to find Maxon, we're going to find your Cinema 4D install. You should be using R17, and depending if you're watching this a little bit later, from recording date, we'll probably be well, we will probably be on R18. And something I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, and this is giving people a lot of a lot of trouble, um, at least as of the launch of R2, is that you need to be on R17 and you need to update. You need to make sure that you're updated your Cinema 4D so it's the latest version. The way that we the way that we do development is we're using the latest and greatest tools to give you the best features possible. So just like you would update the firmware in your RED camera, you have to update your R17. You can't be hanging out with old versions. Sorry. So anyway, you're gonna go to your Cinema 4D R17 installation. Windows shouldn't be too different. Uh, we're gonna go to plugins and you're gonna take this zip file that hopefully you downloaded. Uh, we're gonna open it up. This is B1 and you're gonna find a folder called Cine Designer R2. And in it is these two things, a Python script and some plugin stuff. So you don't have to really worry about that. All you're going to do is drag this into here. Do I have to authenticate really? So now that's in there, that's all you're going to have to do to install it. So let's go into Cinema 4D and check it out real quick. Okay, great. So hopefully you installed Cine Designer. If you did correctly, it will show up here under plugins under this. And now I have a whole bunch of other things that you're not going to have. These are for me to do development with, but you're going to have basically the camera truck you're going to have the grip truck, the lighting truck, and you'll have a CD rig. So what I've done is I've put these over here. And the way that you do that is you go to Windows, Customize, Custom Palettes. And what you do is you make a new palette. And in here you write Cine. That's not right. Cine. Hmm. What is it? What's this thing called? Let me go check it out. Oh, CD. My bad. It's called CD. There it is. So you're at CD, all this stuff comes up there, and you're going to drag in your camera truck, you're going to grab the grip truck, and you're going to grab the lighting truck in whatever order you want. I will eventually make the icons different, maybe. Eh. Um, so then you close this, and you can basically drag this. If you grab these two little bars, you can put this wherever you want. Uh, and there's a bunch of settings for that, but that's how I made this little custom bar over here. I suggest you doing do the same thing. I like it on the side. It takes up very little room. And what you're going to do is you're going to launch each one of these, um, preferably one at a time. And hopefully you guys can go watch the demo where I break down how to do this kind of in general. But what I want to show people here to just get started, I have a preset already. So I'm going to bring this one in. I hit build. So we have our camera. Uh, in the demo, I had it already set up. So the question is, let me bring in uh, a person. And if you're brand new to this, you're probably not going to have any people yet. But that's okay. Uh, you can watch some of the old videos on how to get Fuse characters, and I'm probably going to do an updated Fuse tutorial because I have gotten better at using Fuse characters. But essentially, uh, we're going to bring in a person like that. And what you want to do to look through the camera is you want to do um, two views side by side. This is how I like to do it. You're going to go to the Alexa. You're going to go to Display Garo. Um, you're going to hit. Uh, from this point, we're going to go up here. 1920 by 1080. Those are the render settings. So we made this a 1080 frame. Shift V takes you to whatever this is, and you go to the back or the view. Yep. Turn the opacity up. Crank it up. Now we have a nice uh, view to look through. This is how we look through the camera. Is very important. Sorry, my nose is uh, a little allergic today. So we have our CD rig. Um, let's do some framing up really quickly. We're going to lower the camera here. Pretty easy. Um, and from here, we're going to do some some composition, some composing of this frame. Let's make a weird lower thirds one. Select the actual Alexa, change it to a 50 mil, then we go back to the O'Connor 2575, and you pan around. So that is the basics of installing Cine Designer. Actually, the track doesn't look, I'm just gonna delete the track here. So those are the basics of installing Cine Designer, bringing in a camera, and then looking through the camera. So hopefully that's enough to get you started to play around. So in the next video, we're gonna do some other stuff. I don't know what that is, but um, hopefully for everyone that was maybe having a little bit of trouble getting R2 installed, you have to update Cinema 4D. That's the directory you need to put it in. You cannot have Cinema, I'm sorry, you cannot have Cine Designer R1 and R2 installed at the same time. So you have to get rid of the R1 folder. I would suggest keeping it in case you're using an older project that has R1 stuff in it. And in case R2 for whatever reason is just 
um, isn't working with you for some reason, I would keep R1 just in case. So that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you guys on the next one.